In this video, we are going to study about sexual reproduction. What is sexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction is reproduction in which two parents are involved. Two gametes are involved. Two gamete fuse to form zygote. Or we can say that fertilization takes place in sexual reproduction. There are three phases in the life cycle of the organism which undergo sexual reproduction. The there are three phases. The first phase is, is juvenile phase, second one is reproductive phase, third one is senescent phase. This reproductive phase becomes very important phase of life cycle of sexually reproducing animals or plants. In plants, how can we say that reproductive phase has started? Reproductive phase kab aata hai jab they start flowering. When they start flowering, so this becomes indication that a reproductive phase in that plant has been started. So let us say because flowers are the reproductive organs of angiosperms or flowering plants. But flowers plants all the time it comes, every day it comes. Some plants, but in some plants it comes once in a year. Those plants in which flower appears once in a year is called annual plants and when the flower comes once in two years the plants are called biennials and the, when there is no definite time there is no definite time koi definite time nahi ho to we call it perennial there are two examples are very important here in perennial plants the first one is nila kurenji nila kurenji this plant flowers once in 12 years, once in 12 years, 12 साल में एक बार इसमें flower आते हैं और scientific name of this plant is Strobilanthus, Strobilanthus Kothiana and this gives a beautiful flower, blue colored flower and these flowers are found in Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka यहां आप चाहेंगे तो इनके जो hills है इसके hills में ये पूरा blue stretches आपको दिखाए देंगे in the month of September, October when this flower are appeared ऐसे तो appear होते नहीं है 12 साल में एक ही बार होते हैं लेकिन जब भी appear होते हैं तो it becomes a beautiful stretch on the hills of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka and many tourists come here to see this beautiful blue stretches of this plant and because of the blue stretches here this plant's name is Nila Kuranji common name here local name of this plant is Nila Kuranji another plant is bamboo plant bamboo plant flowers once in 50 to 60 years मतलब 50-60 साल में एक बार ही इसमें flowers आते हैं उसके बाद एनिमल्स की बात करेंगे तो रिप्रोडक्टिव फेज में देयर आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट साइक्लिक चेंजेस अकर्स इन द फीमेल्स टू इंपॉर्टेंट साइक्लिक चेंजेस आर एग्जिबिटेड बाय द फीमेल प्लेसेंटल मैमल्स एंड दिस इज ऑस्टर साइकिल एंड मेंस्ट्रुएशन साइकिल ऑस्टर साइकिल इज एग्जिबिटेड बाय नॉन प्राइमेट्स this oyster cycle is exhibited by non primates like cow, sheep, rat, dog, etc. And these animals live in their natural and wild habitat, wild conditions, and they exhibit this cycle during some favorable season. During their favorable season. That is why they are also called as seasonal breeders. And in primates, primates like monkey, apes, and human. In such animals, these cycles are exhibited by the female throughout the year. That is why it is called continuous breeders. And these two characteristic features of placental mammal exhibited during their reproductive phase. Now let us see some other sexual reproductive events also occur during reproductive phase of organisms. It may be in plants also, it may be in animals also. So, the, these three events are pre-fertilization events. The main concept of repro sexual reproduction is fertilization. Main concept of main event of sexual reproduction is fertilization. So, before fertilization events are called pre-fertilization events and after fertilization events are called post-fertilization. Is it clear? So, there are three sexual reproductive events, pre-fertilization events, fertilization events and post-fertilization event. Let us see one by one. First one is pre-fertilization events. In this pre-fertilization event, what happens? The two events are taking place in pre-fertilization events. First process is called gametogenesis. And what do you mean by gametogenesis? Gametogenesis means uh, this, is the this is the process of formation of gametes. Now gametes, gametes are haploid in nature. This is haploid. 
that means that gametes contain only one set of chromosome of the parent so jis cell se gamete bante hain those cells are called gamete mother cells those cells are called gamete mother cells and this gamete mother cells is also known as meiosite this gamete mother cells are called meiosite and meiosites are always mother cells are always diploid cells diploid cells in most of the organism it is diploid and diploid se haploid banna hai that means reductional division has to undergo reductional division means meiosis will takes place so meiosis takes place for the formation of gamete and gametes are haploid most gametes are haploid and now gametes means male gamete and female gamete and fusion of these two gametes will take place in sexual reproduction so male gamete and female gamete sometimes uh, gametes uh, when the gametes are produced all the gametes uh, look similar to each other when all the gametes look similar to each other it is called isogametes isogametes and when gametes look different to each other they are morphologically different here morphologically similar morphologically similar morphologically matlab external feature is similar then it is called isogamete and if they are morphologically different then it is called heterogamete and this is found in this is found in cladophora this is found in cladophora and heterogametes uh, can be seen in fucus here yeah, human being also no and male gametes are called male gametes here heterogametes hai male gametes ko hum kya kahenge antherozoid kahenge anthero anthrozoid anthrozoid in plants plants and uh, here in animal or uh, animal mein kahenge sperm animals mein sperm or female gamete ko ovum kahenge ya ova kahenge theek hai ovum or ova is it clear now so gametes can be isogametes or heterogametes now if see to two gametes are formed so two sex organs will be also there in the organism two sex organ will be there in the organism so on the basis of sexuality the organisms can be categorized into two category first category is bisexual second category is unisexual bisexual means both the sexes are present on the same body same plant or same animal so if male and female reproductive structures or male and female sex organs are present on the same plant so this is called bisexual bisexual but bisexual is another name it can also can be called as monoecious monoecious means mono means single if single parent single individual has both the sex organ and both uh, gametes can be produced on the same body it is called monoecious so only single single body is required for the reproduction but it is not asexual reproduction because in our sexual reproduction you have also learned that ki there their fusion of gametes will not take place here single parent body will produce male gamete and female gamete and both will fuse to form zygote so this uh, fusion will take place here and is in us now this is also called homothallic homo means uh, same thalle matlab ek hi thallus same thallus body same thallus body hai matlab ek hi plant body hai to an example is here cucurbits and coconuts cucurbit and coconut plants coconuts are bisexual or monoecious very important question if sometime it is asked up and heterothel two different parents are there two different thallus body is there and two different thallus body bears two different sex organs so uh, male and female sex organs are present on different plants if they are present on different plants then this is called dioecious di matlab two parents दो पेरेंट्स में यहाँ इन्वॉल्व है दो इंडिविजुअल्स इन्वॉल्व होंगे हियर टू इंडिविजुअल्स विल बी इन्वॉल्विंग इन सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एंड यूनिसेक्सुअल बिकॉज वन बॉडी विल हैव ओनली वन सेक्स ऑर्गन सो इट इट इज कॉल्ड यूनिसेक्सुअल एंड इफ मेल प्लांट इज देयर मेल प्लांट है तो उसको स्टेमिनेट कहेंगे एंड फीमेल प्लांट को फीमेल प्लांट को पिस्टलेट कहेंगे ठीक है नाउ योर बाइसेक्सुअल बाइसेक्सुअल प्लांट है अगर ये एनिमल के केस में है if it is in animals case what will you call it and in bisexual animals are called as hermaphrodite hermaphrodite and in matlab in single individual will have both the sex organs female and male both sex organs are present and they will produce both sex gamete uh, male gamete and female gamete then this is called hermaphrodite and examples are lizards rotifers tapeworm and leech and all these are hermaphrodite animals now first gamete to ban gaya 
फर्टिलाइजेशन होना है फर्टिलाइजेशन के लिए वॉट वी हैव टू डू दिस गैमिट्स यानी मेल गैमिट्स को फीमेल गैमिट्स के पास पहुंचना है या फीमेल गैमिट्स को मेल गैमिट के पास पहुंचना है तो गैमिट्स का ट्रांसफर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ईयर बट हाउ विल द ट्रांसफर टेक्स प्लेस एंड दिस गैमिट ट्रांसफर इज लेकिन जनरली हम क्या देखते हैं कि मेल गैमिट्स आर मोटाइल इन नेचर मतलब दे कैन मूव बट फीमेल गैमिट्स आर जनरली नॉन मोटाइल स्टेशनरी सो मेल गैमिट हैज टू हैज टू रिच फीमेल गैमिट्स बट दे नीड सम मीडियम्स व्हाट विल बी द मीडियम्स मीडियम्स विल बी वाटर लोअर ऑर्गेनिजम्स इट इज वाटर वाटर और एनी मीडियम इट कैन बी एनी मीडियम समटाइम्स एनिमल्स ऑल्सो तो दिस एनिमल ट्रांस दिस गैमिट्स का ट्रांसफर होना है मेल गैमिट्स हैज टू बी ट्रांसफर टू फीमेल गैमिट्स ठीक है तो अब इसमें इसमें जो प्लांट्स में अगर ये होता है मेल गैमिट विल रिच टू फीमेल गैमिट मेल गैमिट किस में होता है पॉलन ग्रेन में और पॉलन ग्रेन कंटेंस मेल गैमिट और मेल गैमिट फिर पहुँचेगा कहाँ पर फीमेल गैमिट के पास स्टिगमा स्टिगमा में पहुँचेगा स्टिगमा से फीमेल गैमिट में दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनेशन ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलिन ग्रेन टू स्टिगमा इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनेशन एंड पॉलिन ग्रेन कंटेंस मेल गैमिट दिस कंटेंस मेल गैमिट दिस इज अ कैरियर पॉलिन ग्रेन इज अ कैरियर ऑफ मेल गैमिट एंड देर कैन बी वेरियस एजेंट्स फॉर द पॉलिनेशन इज अ क्लियर वाटर इज द मीडियम फॉर द ट्रांसफर ऑफ गैमिट्स मेल गैमिट्स टू फीमेल गैमिट इन द केस ऑफ ब्रायोफाइटा एंड डेरेडोफाइटा सो ब्रायोफाइटा एंड डेरेडोफाइटा आर कॉल्ड एम्फीबियंस ऑफ द प्लांट किंगडम्स मेल गैमिट मेल गैमिट्स हैज टू रिच फीमेल गैमिट सो थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मेल गैमिट्स अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ मेल गैमिट्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड मोर मेल गैमिट्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड वाई बिकॉज समटाइम्स दे फेल टू रीच द फीमेल गैमिट एंड टू कंपनसेट दिस लॉस टू कंपनसेट टू इस रास्ते में बहुत सारे गैमिट जो है वो मर जाते हैं मेनी डाई मोर मेल गैमिट्स और वेरी फ्यू फ्यू रीच इज वेरी फ्यू रीच इज फीमेल गैमिट एंड to facilitate fusion so very few reach female gametes to facilitate fusion with female gamete lekin many of them die that is why a large number of male gametes are produced isn't it in and now let us see what happens in fertilization event fertilization event mein now male gamete has reached to the female gamete then male gamete and female gamete will fuse and fuse they will form zygote so this is a fusion of fusion of male gamete and female gamete to form zygote is called fertilization is called fertilization and male gametes are haploid both the gametes are haploid we have studied already studied so the gametes are haploid and they will fuse to become a diploid and zygote will be diploid okay then fertilization can be take uh, can take place inside the female body and outside the female body if it takes place out the outside the female body then it is called external fertilization and when it takes place inside the female body it is called internal fertilization the external fertilization like uh, frogs uh, frogs and fish and uh, internal fertilization inside the mother's body female body means some mother's body so like human being we can say that uh, placental mammal and human being to so, jahan jis kisi mein bhi external fertilization hota hai like frogs and fish to so, wahan par a large number of individuals are produced a large number of offspring are produced why a large number of large number of offspring are produced why because there is chance of chance of death is more because because they are they are vulnerable to the predators and इसीलिए जहाँ external fertilization होता है वहाँ पर बहुत ज़्यादा ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स बनते हैं बहुत ज़्यादा ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स बनते हैं और इसलिए बनते हैं क्योंकि उस उसमें से कुछ ही जो है इंडिविजुअल्स दे आर एबल टू सर्वाइव मेनी ऑफ देम आर वलनरेबल टू द प्रीडेटर्स इन वाटर थर्ड वन इज पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन इवेंट और पोस्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन इवेंट्स में क्या होता है जाइगोट जाइगोट विच इज डिप्लोइड इन नेचर एंड जाइगोट विल अंडर गो इम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस द इम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस इम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस मतलब द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम जाइगोट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इम्ब्रियो फ्रॉम जाइगोट इज कॉल्ड इम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस एंड इम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस में इम्ब्रियो बनेगा इम्ब्रियो दैट मीन यू हाविल जाइगोट डेवलप इन टू इम्ब्रियो बाई सेल डिविजन एंड सेल डिविजन के जाइगोट यहाँ है दैट इज जाइगोट तो वन सेल एंड दिस विल डिवाइड एंड दे विल फॉर्म मेनी सेल्स बट ऑल दी सेल्स विल बी डिप्लॉयड सो विच डिविजन हैज टेकन प्लेस यर माइटोसिस विच डिविजन माइटोसिस विल टेक्स प्लेस जाइगोट विल डिवाइड माइटोटिकली सेवरल टाइम्स टू फॉर्म इम्ब्रियो 
then embryo will be first two cell cell then eight cell 16 cells uh, in 32 cell like that so this embryo will be embryo will also be deployed all the cells of the embryo will be deployed and these cells will undergo cell differentiation and cell differentiation ke baad, they will convert into different tissues they will convert into different tissues tissue ke baad, organ organ se, organ system and organ system say they will develop into full body that is called fetus and fetus this fetus will grow into baby this fetus will grow into baby in the similar this is ovary on ovary will develop into fruits after fertilization ovary will fertilize fertilization ke baad they will develop into fruits and ovule will develop into seeds ab jo fruits banega to fruits ke jo outer covering honge outer thicker wall of fruit will be called as pericarp and pericarp helps in protection and pericarp it will be the outer thicker wall of fruits and that is meant for protection of fruit